salve for... What? That's a big ask. But something tells me you're not kidding. But I doubt I'll be able to gather more than a handful of people. Forty-nine melodies fetch again with incessant labor. The water they have lost. Just what it said. I, I had. Uh, <laughs> and now we share a secret. gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore. Um, well, if you get me out of here, then I wouldn't need it anymore because I'd already be happy. Like, Galerius, he's nice. I like Galerius. Yeah, Galerius will let me out. Gold? My friend Hannibal used to look. He said he gave me this. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. Now nobody looks after me. Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. Don't you just love springtime? Don't shoot! I'm no threat. Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Salve, friend. All right. Ah, now. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. A And how could you know that? Oh. 
well... Uh, but... it... Uh, but... Uh, because Sentius put him there. That's nonsense, of course. Uh, even I... All right. Salve for... Oh. Poor ver... He... All right. But how did you... I'll go, but... Thank you so much for acting as quickly as you can. Another moment more and we will have a list. Let's go. Pleasure to be. I'm guessing that Promethean fire is not for sale. Salve, Rufius. What? My condition is nobody's business but mine. There's no need for that. I just wanted to give you this willow bark to help you treat it. A treatment? Really? <sighs> Thank God. Finally, some relief after all this time. Thank you, Galerius. You're a good man. And I'll be sure to leave Virgil alone. I know. I haven't been at my best lately. Appreciate that. Now, I've got to run. Good news, Alpius. Here's enough money to pay off your and Yulia's debts to Maliolus. Huh. What? Are you messing with me? I wouldn't do that. Here, take it. We're... We're going to be free. Galerius, thank you. It seems fortune smiles on us after all. I, uh... I'd better go and sort this out immediately. I just love springtime.
Where have you been, you little Sturkus? You shouldn't even be outside the villa. None of that matters anymore. I'm paying off my debt, and Julius. Our debt bondage is over. Let me see that. Here. In fact, you take it to him. I don't ever want to see his face again. Huh. You actually did it. I'll make sure he gets this. But you're still a pathetic little Sturkus, free or not. I don't care what you think. You don't have any power anymore. <laughs> I'm not talk. I think a better question. I have quite enough marriage trouble already. The dainty little thing from next door. Of course not. Mm. Hmm. You know, sometime now I could. I. But. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. But first, I need you to do something for me. I want you to bring me some wine. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? You mean, aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room, and Domitius is right outside the villa, because there's barely any left in the city. Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. After all I've done for him, counseling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry. And if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. So... Thank you. Here's the letter. Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. What? He's... Oh no. That's... Um... Quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. Another copy. What? No. You... you tricked me. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you deliberately concealed it. I curse you. I curse your life and mind and memory. This is outrageous. Do I need to call? Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone. I... Uh, so... It finally caught up with me. I suppose that makes you... What? One of Nero's assassins? So... You're not going to kill me? Oh... Fine. I'll have Demetrius notify the priestess of my withdrawal. There, you got what you wanted.
with all weapons that have been tossed into the castle. Are you under duress, sir? I, I just had a, 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 a change of heart. But you on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. Those are my orders. Carry them out. <sighs> As you wish, sir. All weapons that have been tossed into the castle. I thought I told Oh, another one fresh out of the baths, I take it. Mm. Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? Salve again? How is it possible? Uh, you're a Sisyphus. Sisyphus was, he was forced, forcing <sighs> Tantalus. Oh. Anyway, so. Anytime. Now, I'm going to keep. Oh, and if our convers. Salve again. Now. I've bounced the idea, but from what I hear, man, maybe that's not such a bad thing. And how could you know that? Uh, but, man, he did? Oh, that was unexpected. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. All right, friend. between Sentius, why as I hmm, very citizens, it is time. Let us uh, hello, hello. Bye -bye. We have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Helva.
Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Sentius. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. The man who treated my rheumatism. Galerius. Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helva. What? It has been decided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you've put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. We're finally alone. A cure? I see you. We're always happy. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you. We have? I must have. Is that a. Seem. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. Perhaps you're not aware. Look, I can see where you're going with this. It was not so long ago, during the Republic. The law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born, owing to his deformities. Here, we see to it that he has food, water, and shelter, and, most importantly, he is able to continue living. A privilege that would be taken away from all of us, were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Nothing really. It won't be long before the golden rule is broken and everything will be reset. I dare say it won't affect me in the slightest. Thank you. I love seeing I bet Galerius only won by bribing people. Outrageous! Uh, Where was my bribe? Hello? I'm Dooley. Magistrate Galerius said I should thank the newcomer. Oh, it is you. Then, thank you. You're a big helper. You can have my shiny plaque if you want, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me, but before that, he gave me a key to the cisterns. Please help me find it. Oh, thank you. Hope you find it. In the cisterns, way up high. Oh, look over there. Maybe it is treasure. I can see it from this cell. So pretty. But it's just a head Maybe nobody wants it anymore. Maybe no one will mind if I just take it. Don't you dare. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one.
What? Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Nobody's told you about So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. We should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in, and hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body, sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. If it was a man, maybe. More like a Strix, or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. What any sane person would have done, I legged it out of there. Whoa. Did you know? Wait, did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? So that is how it's going to be. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Do you really think... Who? Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, Father. The 
many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. The other should be right behind us. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. Hi there. Give me a bit of a fray. Well? Funny you should ask. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Freed an imprisoned woman named Santilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, Santilla and a handful of other citizens managed to escape, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Uh, what? Uh, I'm sorry, come again? Um, God, why did I spend a... This is... Uh, this is... I, uh... So you're saying... Because... I guess... You saved my life, then. Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Santilla used, if we can find it. I'm gonna pause. You go on ahead. You're back! But... you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find out? What a relief! Why don't you tell me what you discovered? While we wait. Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. You can just call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me. I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the Chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly, do you really want to know? As you wish, you were murdered. You were exploring an old tomb when you discovered a cache of forgotten relics, including two silver coins of ancient origin. Unfortunately, as you emerged into daylight, you were set upon by two thieves. A nearby hiker saw the scuffle break out, and leapt to your aid, trying to help you recover your bounty. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene, and you followed a few hours later. That man's name was Al Wur. You were each in possession of a sacred coin, called Kaelin's Opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. 
Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth, but not any coin would do. A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. That is a question you would have to ask him, if that were still possible, in light of the path you have chosen. I am just his servant, doing his bidding. Only now, I find myself bereft of purpose. You see, the coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. There is nobody else to ferry you. Nobody to keep you company. After five thousand years, the underworld has finally run its course. I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you! You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again! Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of... Well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centella? How could you... What? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Here, take a look. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this. But Octavia, Lucretia, Horatius, Equitia and I will never forget you, or what you did for us. It pains us that so many of our dear friends were not so fortunate including Olpius and Galerius, who heroically tried to rescue Dooley, but never made it back. But there is no point dwelling on what might have been. All we can do is take this gift you've given us and try to show others the same compassion you showed us. We promise you that saving our lives was not for nothing. Centilla et al. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story. But first, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? <laughs>